everyone and welcome back to Wilbur's Wildlife. In today's video we're going to be introducing you guys to our lovely Centralian tree frogs. Here at Wilbur's Wildlife we're currently home to a group of five of these awesome little Centralian tree frogs. I've had them for about three years now so they've been with us for quite a while and they are an amphibian. So amphibians are animals that have a relationship with the water. They split their time between water and land and that can transfer gas across their skin. So frogs are able to breathe through their skin, which is really helpful if they're swimming to be able to transfer uh, air across their back, sorry. And these guys obviously spend a little bit of time in the water as adults are able to swim. When they're young though, juvenile um, frogs are tadpoles, which a lot of you guys would have seen before. They start out as an egg, which is a bit of a soft sort of jelly-like egg that's laid in the water. And when that hatches, the little tadpoles swim around until they're ready to metamorphose, until they're able to transform into an adult frog, at which point they lose their gills and the ability to breathe in water, and they gain that ability to breathe through their skin. Now, these guys live around Alice Springs in the central in the centre of Australia, which is where the name Centralian tree frog comes from. And so, they are really adapted to life in dry areas. So you find Centralian tree frogs in the bottom of rocky gullies, in the bottom of gorges, hanging out. They are able to find pools of water there. It's where water is going to stay for the longest after it's rained in the desert. And so they're able to continue um, living really well because they need that water there. They have that relationship there with water that's really important to them. They can also drink water through their stomach. So these guys have awesome back legs that they use for hopping and climbing like you can see this one doing now and holding on. They can climb up tree trunks, they can climb up walls, they can climb up glass, pretty much anything they come across they're able to get up. All right, that's due to those nice little sticky feet pads on the end of each toe there. Now you can see just under their chin there when they're breathing, because they do still breathe through their nose, a uh, little chin goes up and down. And these guys do a really cool thing when they eat. So our favourite fact about frogs, the one we always share at our shows, is what these guys do to eat. And that is, they get their food, pop it in their mouth, these guys eat insects, so crickets and mosquitoes and flies and stuff like that. And then they can't push it down with their tongue because their tongue's fixed at the front of their mouth, unlike ours, it's fixed at the back. And so instead, they blink. And so you just see a really quick little blink. What happens there is the eye goes down slightly and pushes on the roof of the mouth, making the mouth smaller. And so anything in the mouth gets pushed down into the tummy. Really weird little trick that these guys are able to pull. Thank you for tuning into our video on Centralian Tree Frogs today. I hope you've enjoyed many our little frogs. If you have, you can check out our worksheet down in the comments below, which is great for extending learning for the kids that are at home at the moment, or just for a spot of fun. And if you've enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out, out the rest of our videos.